And I, I do want to harp on this one point because it's very important. Um, it is a lie to suggest that, and I'm not blaming you for this lie, by the way, to suggest mm-hmm. that it's just reversible. It's a, it's a very dangerous lie, right? There are extreme consequences of going on puberty blockers. It's not like you're just pausing a YouTube video or and you can pu- come back and say, okay, now I want to watch the rest of the video. Once you have skipped puberty, you have skipped puberty. The consequence can be if you're a, a boy and you skipped puberty, you, you would have literally a micro penis. Um, you can become infertile. Uh, you cannot experience sexual pleasure. These are lifelong decisions that are being made by adults who I think are well-meaning. I don't think, you know, Marin Morris wants to harm children, but it is very dangerous when she is using an opinion that people are taking in as facts, when they actually believe that their children are going to be rendered happier because of all of this. No child can decide for themselves whether or not they want to have children long term and say, you know, I'm willing to forego this. They don't know that. That's not the information that they're being given when they go to the doctor's office. I also think it's dangerous to assign meaning to what children say. Children have a different idea every single day. Are you actually gender dysphoric or are you just a child? You know, do you want to be Spider-Man today? Would you support a scenario? And I always think of this scenario because I babysat where I had a little girl who legitimately came to me crying and said she was a mermaid. Like she did not want to go out of the bath. Would you view it as responsible if I said, yes, you are a mermaid and you can sleep in the bath from now on. And now I'm going to take you to get procedures to have scales sewn onto your body. Would that sound absolutely insane to you for me as an adult to do that? I will share what I think. And my understanding of being a conservative is you don't want other people telling you how to parent. And that's what I'll say. I mean, if... That could could be a defense for child abuse, though. Right? I don't want people telling me how to parent, but I don't want children abused ever. I don't want children abused either, but your perception of abuse might be different than my perception of abuse. That's very dangerous. That's very dangerous. So why should your perception have to do with her kids and her perception have to do with your kids? Why don't you parent your kids and you parent your kids? Exactly. Absolutely. So I would... I think that that... Walking away from that is very dangerous, and I, and I will tell you why. We're talking about abuse, right? So I would not be comfortable with this argument if we were in the court of law and somebody said, hey, you've just been beating your children for eight months and locked them in a basement, and someone said, let me parent my kids, you know? Or, hey, you're but a man, also, you've been raping your child you know, for the last 10 years. Let me parent my kids. There are truths and there are untruths, and to me, it is a truth that having your child undergo transition is, is a form of child abuse. I miss that. That's your opinion. But also, I feel like, you know, this is why we're here today. In the world out there, the amount of gender dysphoric young people that are going through any medical intervention, it's not that many. That's not true. That's Would you have true. numbers? That's not true. That is it's, not true. It's, I don't have numbers. So I'm not going to share, but... Um, I do. Would you like to hear them? Uh, it doesn't matter to no, me. No, but it should because it you're should. saying something, it right? Should. So, like, we want to get to the and truth I, well, here. And then, well, sure, share it and cite it. So, there was a study that was done in the UK. Uh, within a six-year period of time, there was a 4,000% increase. There was another study that came out in Texas just a couple of months ago that mirrored the same 4,000%. So, we have a 4,000% increase within um, children that are medically transitioning. If you take that 4,000% increase and you take what is made over a lifetime with synthetic hormones with these children, it's $1.3 million if you start a child at 14 and that child lives to 80 years old. That's $1.3 million. We're not talking about all the medical What I'm getting at is the amount of, the, the amount of children or teenagers doing this. I don't think it's hundreds of thousands. It might not even be more than 10,000 a year, to be honest. I don't know. I'm not going to share a number that I don't know. But if I had to guess in the United States, the amount of teenagers or pre-teens that are, that are having any kind of hormone um, intervention in the thousands, I'm guessing. Okay, well, and how many hundreds of millions of people and, and uh, how many teenagers are there in America Countless millions. Okay. So what you're saying is that it is let the parents to there's parent enough, their children. 
So you, you are fine now that you've been given the facts of how this, by the way, these are the effects that have happened to somebody who did this as an adult, right? Yes. And I and we are look sharing, at Caitlyn Jenner. Right. Caitlyn Jenner would right. share a very different well, experience. Right. She's transitioned well, now well, for Caitlin her. Caitlyn has, has spoken out about the depression that Caitlyn faced post-transitioning and things of that nature. But I do want to say this. You are now armed with more facts. We are telling you that this can render someone infertile. This can render somebody with... Well, like I said at the very beginning, it wouldn't be my first go-to. But... What would that you? This it's is, okay. It's not, not about first go to. Okay. You, if you you're, are, you're you're a mother of two mm -hmm. in fifteen years, twelve years, if your child says continues, not once, obviously, if your child over a period of months says, "I'm going to kill myself," I just told you that I don't do this. That's not true. Well, let me let me it's ask the not question. Not true. It, let, well, Cite the study on that because that is not true. I'm just Our I'm just asking the question. A whole generation of children because you just said that and you are fundamentally wrong. In on your that. opinion. No, I'm, it's not an okay. opinion. Okay. It is not well, an my opinion. My question was directed to Candace. That is not an opinion. All seven that studies that said opinion. that, no, it's a retraction on seven studies. Okay. You cannot say that and have it true. The odds right. of those kids committing suicide will happen to seven to ten years after. You okay. want to talk about facts and feelings, we'll do it. But don't say these kids are going to kill themselves. I didn't they, say that. The Did odds I say are that? Is they will okay, so after they are presenting. I a, said if, if a child tells okay. you over the period of months. Mm -hmm. if well, you I take them to the hospital you, and yeah. you have them seen for suicidal ideation. Right. I would not put them on something that I know is going to long term give them real suicidal thoughts uh, because they've realized they can't go back and their parents have assigned, you know, truth to. This suicidal ideation, I guess, reason or excuse for transitioning kids is flawed. It's just, it's flawed. It's, it's like. Yeah. It's I feel a cultural, like this is comparable it, to, like, no, I feel like they, they, like, make a big issue about something that probably doesn't happen even that often. It's like, mm -hmm. it's like even with the abortion issue, like, sure, there's going to be rare cases where, like, an abortion, you know, might, like, they might consider that because, like, oh, what if the mother's life was at jeopardy, but... Yeah. Okay. Then take care of that. Make sure the wife does though the mother doesn't die. You know. But that's no, not no. No. See, that's this but, is the thing. We're okay. This is what you're not understanding. Is is a, a a child will come to a parent and they'll turn around and tell them, well, you know, I think I've been born in the wrong body and I want I need help for this. They'll turn around and take them to a shrink to get help, and then the shrink during their one-on-one -on -one private conversations with this mm -hmm. child will turn around and coach the child on what to tell the parent to get them what they want. Yeah, that might happen. I, I don't know. <laughs> it, 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 it not might, it will, because it happened to my kids. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 and not necessarily in the, in the. Maybe, maybe just got bad the, luck. You got really bad shrinks. <laughs> not in the not in the form of uh, transitioning, but in other forms. I've had it happen to yeah. me where the counselors coached my kids in what to say to me to get me to do what they wanted. Unfortunately yeah. for my kids, I saw through their BS and their lies and their counselors training and didn't give in to it and called them out on it and then i turned around and went to the counselor and was like you ever tell my kids something like that again because i know it sure didn't come from them because i didn't teach it to them yeah i will have you fired yeah. and that was <laughs> the last time i ever heard it <laughs> wow <laughs> So yeah, yeah. Sure I'm, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm sad. This is what I'm saying is, is they can turn around and go to counseling for gender dysphoria, but all that counselor is going to do, as we saw in what is a woman is mm -hmm. affirm what the child wants. And then the counselor is going to affirm what they want coach the child and how to coax the parents into getting them what they want 
mm. and on their side and emotionally manipulate them to do what they want and then they go down that slippery slope that Candace is talking about where they can't go back mm. and mm. the suicide rate for transgender pre and post op is 41% period that's true um <laughs> the I've, comment... looked, I've looked up the studies I've posted it in the I posted links in multiple various videos in the comments yep you can go back and look Jake said like, Jake that. said in the chat room having a horn surgically implanted in my forehead still does not make me a unicorn they <laughs> <laughs> see Greg comment yeah, Greg. Greg comment is even <laughs> added some. You see, I played with dolls until I was eleven and twelve or twelve. Did that make me a girl? No, I am a sixty-three and a total male. I Dude, think a I'm, lot of these. I'm forty-six and I still play with dolls. I got them all lined all around me. <laughs> <laughs> They're just I... called just guys call them action figures. <laughs> <laughs> I. Uh... I agree with you, Greg. It's just ridiculous that these people are pushing this stuff um, okay. the way that they are. It, it's, it's silly. You know, like I think some of these kids are going through a phase in their lives and the medical uh, science, supposedly the, 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 the experts of our world, they took advantage of their emotional imbalance. And, you know, there's a lot happening to these children at this stage of their lives and TikTok and all that stuff. And yeah, social that's media, the other the, part. It's yeah, the social being media aspect. Social of media is, yeah, plays a significant and role. Peer in pressure. Yeah, peer pressure, indoctrination, willing to be accepted. There's a whole lot happening. So instead of allowing them to merge into adulthood and you know eventually grow out of this phase of their lives, some people are making money off of their confusion. And I think prime, it's just prime it's, prime example. I I knew this young woman who was a beautiful young girl. She was an early developer and she grew fast for her age. But she, when my friend got with her mom, they got married and they, when they got bought a home, they had to move from one town to another. When they moved to the new town and she started in the new school, you know, before then, Everything was fine. She was a normal young kid, early teens, no problem whatsoever. Great kid, great student. Never once mentioned any of this gender stuff or, you know, gender fluidity, queer, gay stuff or anything like that. Moves to this new school. Well, all of a sudden now she's a boy and wants to have a double mastectomy and all this other th stuff when it's painfully obvious that she is not a boy. And I'm talking a 14 to 15 year old girl. Now, granted, she was quite overly developed for that age, but mm -hmm. the point being is these kids are being taught. She was socially pressured mm -hmm. by the people she was hanging out with. And she, I even sat down and talked with her one on one. And she told me about how, you know, well, she's been watching a lot of TikToks and stuff like this. There and, we go talking about it with her friends in school and these are the only people who she was able to make friends with in school and yeah. blah 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 and it's like the indoctrination the indoctrination camp yeah it, you, that's you know, all I, it is i kind of compare it to it's kind of like uh you know people who have like the some kind of occult experience or something like ufos and stuff and then there's like well uh, they they think that they think these are like as, as like like beings from other worlds or something, but really they're not. Like, well, it's like what I'm my point I'm making with that. It's like it's all like 
it's all on, kind of depending on an interpretation of a, a phenomena that they're mm -hmm. labeling it one thing when it's actually not that it's, it's just mm. something else and so like and that's kind of po the point like i went to bring yeah, it i think when I, I, I think what you trip. what you said here what you said here roke okay, parallels with what greg is saying uh back in the days we call certain girl tomboys and they turn out to be a total knockout women, <laughs> lol. But today, like these women that we will refer to as tomboy nowadays, are the ones we are pushing forward to become trans. Yeah, um, like we're they're the farm girls next door. <laughs> yeah, half of them could kick our butts, but you know what? We thought they were cute, and they go out <laughs> with guys. <laughs> it's just crazy. Yeah. Oh, the world is so crazy, confused. All right, let's bring this video to an end so we can get to the last ones what was just a feeling right what happened to the sound yeah you muted the video you have to rewind it <laughs> um, he hears us okay realize they can't go back and their parents have assigned you know truth to what was just a feeling right um it, it is my opinion that there there is no such thing as transitioning yes you can uh medically castrate yourself yes you can get a bunch of cosmetic procedures you know at the end of the day you, you can't just transition to be a man or to be a woman you know i am a woman i can you know there are things that women can do that men cannot and because i have looked into this issue and i've spoken to people that are being silenced there are so many people like scott that are coming out and saying listen to my story early onset osteoporosis, people's bones. I mean, could you imagine your bones deteriorating? Boys, boys. Yeah, for a child, for boys, if you, if you go on these hormone blockers, right? Not being able to have children, that's a big- But it also goes back to what I said a minute ago. I don't know the number, but I'm guessing it's not that many young what people. Do you, what do you mean? Yeah, I was gonna ask you to pause there. Cause- yeah, He, he you, doesn't, if, he doesn't if, have if, an argument. He, he, needs, he needs to go back home. Okay, so if you take you don't know the number okay say generally in the u.s if there was at one point a thousand kids who wanted to go through this process right back in the day yeah before all this started mm -hmm. now it's gone up 400 percent. that means there's over four million kids going through this a year that's a that's a serious increase <laughs> Like it mathematically, that's how it works out. And he says, "Well, I don't think it's that big a deal." He 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 has no facts. He just came here because you know he wanted to be on the Candace Owen show. <laughs> it's very obvious. He just wanted to just get some and and time. he's not smart enough to do the fast math. No. Yeah. No. Like it, it's like, dude, pull your head out of your butt and listen <laughs> to the actual transgender person who's sitting right next to you. Yeah. He's telling you, mm -hmm. no, emotion, you can't play that card here. No, yeah. no, 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 no. Uh-uh. Do not bring that crap in here because that is not going to fly. Yeah. He's and, been down that road. Or she. Yeah, so hey, she yeah. I also I didn't make a comment, too. Like, there was something I was sharing with uh, Pastor James before. I was telling him, you know, that I actually was, like, had a discussion on, like, the, the topic of transgender on a forum and I, I it was interesting like the way i asked the question and it's kind of like i i framed it in a way that kind of ended up making them admit to things that up uh, there to the some things that don't make sense so it's it's like well maybe not even mm -hmm. and that maybe not to say it didn't make sense but at least it, it, you can understand that how they get to certain conclusion and how where the logic leads right so then it's like basically so my point I make is like, well, see, what I did was I looked up the definition of like transgender and also gender. And then I realized, oh, so basically what these folks are saying is that that anatomy, bio biology is not relevant to gender. But here's the thing, though, if it's not relevant to gender, then how is that like that, you know, because that, that, that's that's the way normally people like uh, historically like this, that's how I we mean, determine this, gender yeah so exactly. how that's is the, it not relevant yeah i mean if the, if that's how birth the the what you know they use this term assigned birth sex if that's the way if that's if biology is how is the criteria for how that's assigned then why are we talking about 
like the definition in itself doesn't make sense because if you say uh, transgender is when the gender identity is not corresponding to birth sex, but if birth sex and gender are not the same, why you, then why insist that, that they be they correspond? And what, what, why are these <laughs> word games? Like, what, what, you know what I'm saying? So, like, yeah. so here, here's the thing. Here's the thing about that is is okay. <laughs> The majority of people are born with either an XX or an XY chromosome, right? Yeah. That's that's how the majority of society is born. Anything outside of that is considered a mutation. Yeah, like intersex. It is not normal. Your intersex people, whether it's politically correct or not, and whether they like it or not, it is considered a mutation mm. and it is not a pro level pr prominent one okay so you can have anything from xxy to xxxxxy or xyyy you know there's multiple variations of it those mutations account for point zero one percent of births on the planet yeah and you know the, the, the uh, point about that too is actually hmm. when you mentioned that it's good to point out that there's also a distinction between intersex like an actual birth defect like a mutation versus mm -hmm. transgender because intersex is a bio, it's an actual biological thing but mm -hmm. transgender mm -hmm. is actually you could call it non bio like it's like a non biological psychological like phenomena and even in the that, DS, might even, that might even in be the DSM five it is it's considered really, it's really a, a mental. It, it might it's even really be, a, it's really a med medical experiment if you think about yeah, it. Yeah, I have some I have to like to compare it to like a belief system rather than a med mentalness because I think when I go there it's kind of interesting because then it's like. Uh, for some reason, the like I've actually had this discussion on Twitter before, and for some reason, it seems like people are more like inclined to go with that idea than to say it's a mentalness. But but it's but either way, it's like well, you're admitting it's something, right? Like something that's like uh, it's almost like mm -hmm. yeah, it's like mm -hmm. it's kind of like the difference between somebody, you know, like it's like not like doesn't agree with our belief system it's like uh, an atheist yeah. versus a christian you know well it, it's not just something that doesn't agree with our belief system it doesn't agree with nature and it's the laws normal. of nature yeah. yeah and i can see this is an attack on reality on truth yeah. like you say the laws of nature um it's just it's ultimately i think this is an attack on god yeah. because I also, it's, I also, just, it's just laced you know you know in a very well you know cultural social social mm -hmm. way it's presented in a way that seems to be acceptable and normal but when you really dig into the dirt you find out this is an attack on god's character here yeah. man <laughs> that's what's yeah, happening exactly. I, I've, also, I've also noticed that something is insightful too is that i noticed there seems to be a parallel between the belief like a duality of like soul and body like the idea that the soul can be separable from the body and so i feel like that's connected with the idea of yeah the like because, spiritualism <laughs> yeah like oh mm -hmm. like because because i and you know if and when you see that connection i i it, I, it, I'm, it you could i could literally i literally believe that if someone believes that their soul can actually exist separate from the body they they can't really say anything to a transgender because they're pre they're pretty much in the same wavelength. I mean, yeah. sorry if anyone believes that. that but I didn't think about that before, but I can see what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Actually, Jake, uh, gender dysphoria uh, generally nine times out of ten can be traced back to some form of sexual abuse. Yeah, yeah. that's also true. That's kind of like the dissociative identity disorder or something. Yeah. And oftentimes, that's what they should be addressing primarily instead of cutting body parts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway.